welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Psychic Medium Tony Green. We are going to get right into the show today. For everybody listening on a podcast, thank you for being here. For everybody watching on TV, WSES, Rude Rangers TV, Roku, all the channels, thank you. And if you're listening on a radio station, thank you too. Okay, I will never ever reach out to anybody if you comment. Um, on anything other than YouTube, I probably don't even see the comments because I I don't go. Rude Rangers puts my show out on many venues. Um, uh, WSCS puts my show out on so many venues that I don't even go and see those comments. So if anybody reaches out to you saying they're me, you need this, you need that, don't. The only way to communicate with me directly um, is through my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O, or through my uh, business phone, which is 414-897-2869. Do not be fooled and do not be scammed. These scammers are really good. They're literally taking people's YouTube shows and making their own channel and running our shows pretending to be us. So please do not be scammed by anyone. We work really hard for our money. She works hard for the money. Woo! Everybody, all together, everybody sing it. Yeah, you guys have to sing it because I really don't know the next line of that song. <laughs> I don't know where they were going with that. Okay. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is songs because they are coming in. I have not heard songs all morning. I thought I'm not going to get any songs today. Riders of the storm into this world we're born. Something, something, something. That's the first song. The next song is um, something about an ap apocalypse. Ap apocalypse. If you know that, please put it in the chat. If you're live with us. By the way, you can come live with us every single Monday at noon. And every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, connect with a loved one. The number is 845-277-9131. Um, um, I was doing my business number and the, the call-in number together. Um, yeah, so um, Riders of the Storm in that apocalypse. Um, and then there's this song. I know this. I can hear the song, but I'm, I'm going to try to say it. Um, I think it's called Supernatural. I can't get the words. I can hear the words, but I can't say the words. It's not close enough to me. Uh, the next song is um, Working 9 to 5. What a way to make a living. Okay. I cannot do a twang, apparently. Um, I cannot sing, apparently. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, what other songs? Oh, that's it for now. If more songs come in, uh, Jane, June, and Judy are here. Now, Judy was my mom's name, but I know it's a lot of our mom's names. And my mom talks to me at other times. So I don't feel like it's my mom coming through. Um, so if you have a Jane, a June, or a Judy, they're all up here. Um, now, the names can be your name, their name, or somebody that you love's name. Uh, Peter J Jessup, J-E-S-S-U-P, Jessup is the name. Um, Luke, Mariah, Minnie. That's all, that's all I'm getting is Minnie, M-I-N-I. Um, Minnie and Manny, they're not together, Manny. And Manny is often a short name for Emmanuel or or it could just be Manny. I don't know. You, you, you know what? Honestly, if, if it's for you, you're going to know. I don't need to explain it. Guadalupe, 
Bay. <laughs> I feel like there needs to be a Greek dance with that, the way they said that. Even though I don't feel like that's a Greek name, I feel like we should be doing the oompa <laughs> with that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not disrespecting anybody's people on the other side, but hey, come on, Guadalupe. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Jessup is coming through again. Um, J E Z. It's either J E Z N A N or J Z J E Z M A N, and it may be two N's at the end. So Jez Jeznan or Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine, Jasmine. <laughs> no, because it's not an A, it's J-E, Jez, Jasmine or Jasnan. Okay, and then Oleg, O-L, Lig, Oleg, Oleg. And then the next one, the next name is... Um, Janine, and then I just am hearing My Little Pony, My Little Pony, My Little Pony, and if that's for you, you're definitely going to know who that is. Now, um, um, I am going to say, um, as we go into the holidays, a lot more loved ones are going to come in because loved ones all are so much more around they're around us so much more during the holidays because we're thinking of them more the more we think of them the closer or the more our energy connects with them okay so um so yes um and i know no matter how long someone's been gone it can be very very difficult during the holidays to just um, to just get through the holidays without your loved one, things change when you know when certain people pass, everything changes, and uh, we try to do our best to get through it. But certain people, when they pass, it changes us. It changes the dynamics of families. It changes holidays. It just it changes everything. So. Um, I know how challenging that can be for everyone. I absolutely know how challenging that can be. Um, let's get going. Uh, there are so many, um, so many messages in there. Okay, we're gonna go start with a caller, and then we are going to go to the chat, and then. Um, uh, you can ask questions or connect with a loved one. If you have, if you, if I say your area code, please tell me your name and where you're calling from and have one question ready or one connection. If you want to connect with somebody on the other side, please give me a name and a, their relationship to you, like Judy, my mom, or Bill, my uncle. And then if you want to ask them a question, please ask that question right away. Don't piggyback it. Don't wait till I give you a message and then go, oh, but can you can you find out this? And please, let's keep it at one question per person um, because there are quite a few people calling in. And I don't want to seem like I'm being rude or mean and telling you no on air so that somebody who's been waiting for 20 minutes already or more can get their question in. It's You can always call back on Wednesday, ask your one question, and then call into the next show for your next question and or connection. Question, connection. Yep, yep, yep. And if you are in the... Um, uh, <laughs> Oh, um, you know what? That's a Pine Lake apartment said, hi, Lena. Yes, I still have your My Little Ponies. 
Thank you, Pine Lake Apartments. Thank you for that confirmation. And if you listen to my show, that has never, ever come through. And that's in the YouTube chat. Again, if you want to join us live every Monday at noon central, you can pop on YouTube and watch it. And you guys, I have to be really careful. I I got a warning from YouTube and they took one of my shows down. It's shocking to no one. <laughs> It was a show where, um, you know, I, I, it was a show where I was stating a few things and apparently you can run through the streets of America talking about death to whatever, but not state the truth on YouTube. Hmm. Interesting. They only take down the truth. So I can't tell you what the show was because then I'll get my second warning. And on three warnings, they take you out. You're done. I think it's time to start a second channel just in case they decide to take me out. Um, so I have to be really... <laughs> yeah, Patrick, right? It's so shocking. <laughs> me? <laughs> they flagged one of my shows. <laughs> Yep, I shared some opinions. So this is what I'm going to say for the show. Everything I'm saying is uh, for educational purposes and for entertainment purposes only. It's not, it's not real. It is. It's real. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't have taken it down, right? All I can say is, will the real Joe Biden please stand up? 917. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Happy Monday. How are you? Good. Happy Monday, love. Thank you for having your show today. I would like to ask about a relationship with my guy T. Your guy T? Is yes. That, thank oh, you. Okay. I'm going to just ask you one or two quick questions. Okay, love. The first question, how long have the two of you been together? Um, it's still new, but I've been knowing him quite some time. Okay. Um, I'm going to, don't go anyplace. I'm going to mute you because there's getting some feedback in the phone, but don't go anyplace. I, I, oh, wait. Um, sweetie, what's your name? Tina. Okay, hold on one second here while I dig around your energy. Okay, there's, okay, the first thing, now you guys, I'm, okay, so Tina, I think you know there's something else going on here and you're waiting. How do I say this? Now, something else let me, before I go any further, let me say something else does not have to be another person. It can be. If it is another person, it doesn't have to be another woman. It can be something with a family member. It can be something with a friend. Um, it doesn't have to be that sort of thing. It can, something else can also be like uh, work situations or, um, you know, whatever it is. There's something going on in this situation and one of you, I think it's you, love, is waiting for that to end so that the two of you can take off. Now, if you are not aware of this, within a month, within a month, whatever this thing that is this other thing going on within a month that should be done and it might be done because something comes out whatever that means for the situation um i do feel like there's going to be a lot of fast forward movement and then it's going to level out like it's going to go at a normal pace, okay? Um, 
They are showing me a lot about this guy that I do not want to see. Um, and it's not necessarily that it's considered bad. Um, it's not necessarily that it's considered bad. Okay, Tina, I need to, I need to unmute you. I need to unmute you. Okay, sweetie. Uh, what I said so far, does that make sense to you? Yes, that's what I was going to say. That's why I said I've known him quite some time. He had a court case going on. Okay. Uh, so that's what I, that's why I thought I'd be there going slow. Yes, you are 100% correct. And I am very, I am, I am being patient. Okay, now let me ask you this. Because they show, when I said they're showing me a lot about this guy, I don't want to see what they were showing me as he was rolling something. <laughs> You said throwing or rolling? <laughs> rolling. <laughs> R-O-L-L-I-N-G. He was like, and that's just like a, an example. It doesn't mean it has to be that exactly. Like he might, he might like to relax with something. Um, I'm not going to go any deeper into that because again, I have to be careful what I say on air. Um, what I'm going to say, whatever this is, it's going to work itself out. It's going to be okay. But do take your time until that point um, and allow everything to fall the way it's going to. Okay? Does that does that help you, love? Yes, because I like to move slow. I've been single for a long time, and um, he came on really strong. So that's why I said, no, we're going to wait for your court case. It will be over where he's in a very um, important position. So he has a case for all his employees. So, yes, that's why you picked it right up. So, okay. Yeah, definitely moving slow. And what I'm going to say is don't – how do I say this? Whatever's going on, whatever this thing is, there's some truth that's going to come out. There's some some tr truth that's going to that's the that's the only that's the best way that I can say it. There's some truth that's going to come out, and it will resolve everything with this court case very quickly, and then everything can fly forward. Okay. Yes, he's over the police. Yes, and he's like really stringent over them. So it's, they did what they did. They was true. <laughs> okay, good. It's true. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so just but you take your time. Don't get enmeshed in. Don't get wrapped up in things that are not your things. Okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Love. Thank you so much for calling in today. I'm so happy we were able to talk to you. And if I don't hear from you before the Christmas time, um, happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Uh, yes. Yeah, hi. How can we reach you outside of this? I would like to go deeper. <laughs> um, my website is t o n i g dot i n f o. Thank you very much, and happy holidays to you as well, and everyone. Thank you so much, love. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go over to questions. Um, uh, la, 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 la. Um, okay, I'm looking for a question. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Everybody was talking, many people on the chat were talking about um, holiday gifts. Uh, or I brought it up, like if everybody was done with their holiday uh, shopping. Patrick is now in Monterey, California. It's 67 and sunny. Patrick, you are so lucky. That's beautiful. Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Um Ricky Spence, hi, any messages? Ricky, can you do me a favor? Yes, Ricky. Yes. Um, is there a specific message you would like? Uh, uh, Ricky's in Colorado. Is Do you want a message about something specifically? Or 
you know, Ricky, as soon as I tap into you, I feel something a little bit serious come in, like this serious energy. There's something that you are avoiding and you need to take a better look at it. There's something, either you're avoiding it or you're, yeah, avoiding, not paying attention to it. And you need to take a closer, you need to, um, I, I can't, I'm, I'm wanting the word, um, almost like if you're in denial about something, um, almost like if you're there's something you might be a little bit in denial about and you need to um take off your rose colored glasses and look at it clearly because the only way it's going to get resolved is if you look at it clearly so that you can make the right choices for everyone involved <sighs> ricky i hope that helps i hope that makes sense okay so family that makes sense for a family situation. It does. I do feel like don't be in denial at this time. Don't think, don't just, um, just don't uh, um, look at everything with uh, eyes wide open and no denial. Okay, Ricky, that's going to take you the furthest in this situation and help you to understand that uh, what the best outcome is going to be for you. Okay. And Ricky says, yes, it does. Thanks. Oh, phew. thank you so much, Ricky. I'm going to go to the next caller who is, um, you guys, did I do 917 last? Yes. I'm going to go to 203, 203. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Pat in Connecticut. Happy holidays to you. Hey, Pat. Happy holidays. How are you? Hey, thank you. Um, I'm struggling a little bit. Um, I'm wondering, well, you know what? I'll ask you about finances. Um, that's a struggle and a worry. How do you see me getting through the next number of months? Okay. Um, Pat, for you and everybody listening, you know, I did a, I did last Monday I, on TikTok, I did a clearing for um, like a money fall. So I think you should go listen to that. And then today okay. I did going out of struggle, out of survival and into striving. So those are two really good TikToks to listen to. And for anybody who's new, my TikTok is at Psychic Tony. It's all healings and then some what I think are pretty pictures. Okay. Um, what I'm going to say, Pat, is this month's going to be tight. Next month's going to be tighter. But once you hit February, it's going to loosen up a little bit. You're going to have a little relief. What they are stressing is um, during this season, don't overdo it. Tradition is what the I have goosebumps here. I have goosebumps all down my right side as I go to say this. So please do not shoot the messenger. <laughs> Tradition is overrated. Um, so don't fall into those traditional things of, well, I should do this or I have to do this. Um, this holiday season, I think every, you know, I, I'm just going to say this, um, this holiday season, I think everybody understands more so than any year in the past for most people um, that maybe not everything can be the way it was. So this season, instead of, uh, and for for whomever this is for, if you want to gift gifts, go gift gifts. However, um, you can also gift time and services to people. 
listen, I know you're super busy. You have kids. I'm going to gift you. I'm going to do your laundry for your law. I don't know what. I, I don't know why that came up. Maybe because I want somebody to come to mine. I don't know. Um, but you can offer services for people, driving them places as a gift. I don't know. Whatever it is for you. What I'm going to say to you, Pat, is tighten your purse strings and allow yourself to be in that space where you are definitely not falling into the holiday traps. Now, I am going to do um, uh, money is coming to extra, not the money we know about. Extra money is coming to us. Let's clear that. Oh, and that hits me in the heart area, you guys. That's, um, oh, okay. Uh, and I can clear that. Okay. Um, and the, the, one of the things I'm hearing, Pat, is it's time for you to get to the, what they're calling the billboard and put up a posting or look at postings that you might be able to work with people a little bit more the way you do. Okay, love? Okay. Excellent. All right, Tony. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. I Blessings. hope that was helpful. And um, happy holidays, beautiful. Thank you. God you, bless. God bless, love. Um, the next question, Pine Lakes, I just emailed you. A pic of my little pony reference. I also previously sent it. I, you know what? I'm sorry if I did not get the I did not get the locket pics. I, I'm gonna be honest with everybody. I don't do a lot of email because I get over a hundred emails a day of just pure junk, not even including emails that I actually have to open. So I kind of try to avoid my emails as much as possible, but I will look for your emails, Pine Lake Apartments. Thank you so much for sending that to me and sharing that with me. Um, okay, let's see if there's another question. I sent my, Anne, what's your message? A Anne, can you please ask your question again? Because I I don't want to go through everything all over again. Mystic Raven, I do have an Instagram. Um, yes, I do. And I try to keep the same picture on everything just for so everybody can see that picture and know it's me. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller and the next caller is 913. 913, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Jessica, and I'm calling from Kansas. Canada? I'm sorry, did you say Canada or Kansas? Kansas. Kansas, perfect, thank you. How can I help you, love? Hi, okay, so I had something like really weird happen to me the other night, um, and I wanted to know if it like meant something or if it was just um just something weird that happened um I was like on my way to bed and I was in between like the state where I'm about to fall asleep but I wasn't asleep yet and I had like a vision and it was like I, I saw somebody that I currently like um like clear as day like I saw like they're just like their head like clear as day like start forming like right in front of me in my room and it scared me and like I kind of like woke myself up and I just didn't know if it like meant anything but it was just really weird okay that can mean a couple of different things and I'm gonna be okay. real I'm gonna tell you at least two definitions of that because I don't want you to take one definition and run with it so that state between, you know, not awake and not asleep, <clears throat> excuse me, is also known as the hypnotic state, the state where we are in that place of hypnosis. And that's where things can come up from the subconscious. 
Okay. So if you really okay. like this person and as we fall asleep, we do think of the things that we didn't finish through the day we have to do tomorrow, things that, that are kind of unresolved on a conscious level and liking somebody, but not kind of being with them might be, might be one of those things. So their face could have formed because subconsciously you're really liking this person and thinking about them. That's one and probably very logical okay. and understandable. Sometimes, right. not always, sometimes we will see them because they are thinking of us, but I don't want you to take it that way. I want you to take it of the way, the first way I stated it, because I don't want to say, I'm not comfortable saying that their face formed because they were thinking of you. I think it's more that this is an unresolved knowing within you. So you have feelings. You might not know exactly where they sit with you yet. So you would, as okay. you're falling asleep, what what we're trying to figure out will, will often come up. So that's what I'm going to say on that. Okay, love. Uh, now, give me the yeah, person's first... Awesome. Your name is Jessica from Kansas, correct? Yes. Give me the person's first initial. Of the um, he like, uh, he goes by like a different name, but do you want me to give him like his birth name or like the name he goes by? Whatever the energy is strongest in. Okay, uh, Calvin. Calvin. Okay. Here's what I'm, I see as soon as you said that, um, the biggest thing I hear is wait, don't do this. Get all the facts before you go any deeper. Um, and, and there is, there are unknown and they are using the word issues. Now these issues, these un these unknown issues may just be unknown to you or they may just be unknown also to him. But there are unknown issues at this time. Um, so really slow walk this. Really slow walk it and allow yourself to see what you wouldn't see if you just jumped in. Okay. Um, okay. So I was watching, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say this really, I'm gonna try to say this as quickly as possible. I was watching this video this morning on TikTok because that's where I get, you know, all of my entertainment these days. But this woman <laughs> was on there and she was younger and I was extremely like, what she said was so logical. And she said, when men and women meet someone um, for a relationship, the way they start is very different. Women start at 100 and they deduct as time goes on. And men start at zero and they increase as time goes on. And if you ask a man who just met a woman, what do you think of her? He'll say, I'm not sure. She seems nice. She seems okay. Um, I don't know her well enough yet. And then they'll they'll get to know the woman and, uh, you know, go from there. Where women, when they first meet a man, they're like, oh my God, I wonder if he likes me. I wonder if he wants more with me. And every little thing we see that's good, we're just putting it on the pile. And uh, she said this very differently. I will say that. I'm trying to be very quick about this. And I think we all need to come from that place of basing it at zero and then slowly building into that space of uh, uh, staying logical and realistic in every situation. And that is really coming through for you in this, where the best thing you can do is you need to do some research on this, man. You need to do what they're calling like a little bit of a deep dive on him. Okay, love? Okay. Okay. I hope that helps. And I hope you listen to them. Now, I'm going to say this. Okay. 
sometimes the research can be doing a thing on CK on um, CCAP, like a background check, a criminal background check. But sometimes it's putting them on, are we dating the same guy on Facebook? I mean, either way, if there's if there's stuff out there, you're going to get it. Okay, not even if there's... Yeah, I mean, it's difficult to find anything on him because he's, like, well-known. But I do, like, weed tarot cards, and I pulled some cards on him because I was just getting like I mean there's just some little things where I got a message um from someone claiming to be from his team saying that he wanted to meet me no. and like all this other stuff and I just kind of brushed it off and I was like yeah right and then like I pulled cards and like I just got like all these good things from the cards and mm-hmm. I got like past life connection I just I'm just not sure like and I don't know so it's okay. just hard to find anything out about him <laughs> okay, this is what I'm going to tell you. I'm in okay. Now I know. I want you to re-listen to this show and listen to something I said in the beginning because when I'm channeling, I don't remember exactly how I say things, but there's something about what I'm going to say is stop. Don't don't go any further with this situation. Um and I know you're not you're not loving or liking that because when it is somebody who is popular, our ego can take over, but we can also get into a fantasy place. But I'm going to tell you this. Men do, unless they're 12, do not have their friends reach out to us. I, I don't care how famous, how popular, how anything they are. And especially the more popular and or famous they are, the more private they keep their pockets and every aspect of their pockets. Don't get caught up in the fantasy of it. Stay in the reality of if this was a friend, all your spidey senses would be going off and you would tell your friend that's a no-go. If he doesn't have the courage and the decency, first of all, to be the first person to reach out to you, if he's such a coward, <laughs> he has to send a friend. Uh, that's a, the hugest yeah. red flag. Second, he it's probably not even him. It's somebody scamming. Third, um, and just mm-hmm. on those two, let this, let this completely go. Let it completely go. Do not go any further with this. Um, this is, there are so many, you know, the Keanu's, Keanu Reeves and all the scammers use the, whatever. I'm just going to say, let this go. Okay, love, just let it go. If you go further, it's on you and whatever happens is on you, but you've been told by them, cut it, cut it now. Because even if this is him, he should have come forward on his own, but it's not. Okay? (laughs) Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, love. I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas. Thank you. You too. Thank you. All righty, everybody. Okay. Anne wants to know, my friend Trish Miller die November 1 her mom and that really could you please um okay the exact statement and sent is um my friend Trish Miller die November 1 her mom we went to school together and that I need more words I need more words than that to understand what you want did her mom die? Did she die? Please elaborate. And I'm sorry, I don't understand that. While you're elaborating, I'm going to go to the next question. Um, okay, Anne says they both did. And I'm assuming you want a message from one of them or both of them. The message I'm getting in is take care of yourself. 
take care of you. Get, um, I'm really getting the message, get fresh air, get fresh air. Don't be, don't be so afraid of everything. Um, and I don't know if you are or not, Anne. Don't be af afraid. Although if you are, I would understand why. Um, and make, your world doesn't have to be big and filled with everybody. It has to be, it, it can be your world that's filled with a small amount of people that are really good for you. And that's what I'm getting for you, Anne. I really hope that's helpful, my love. I really, really hope that's helpful. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 850. 850, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yay, it's Michelle from Florida. Hey, Michelle, how are you today? Oh, okay, trying to get over, I don't know if it's the flu or the COVID, I don't know. I got a bad bug, 102 fever. <laughs> oh my goodness, sweetie, I'm so sorry. Um, how how can I help you? Um, I'm just trying to figure out my brother, my adopted brother and my sister, uh, I'm trying to figure out um, what my brother is hiding from me. Uh, it has to do with the property and... It, if he, you know, he's dying because of his kidney disease and he's hiding something and I don't know what it is. It has to do with the property. And um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be all three of his kids property or does he get everything? Is he trying to give the property to my nephew? I don't know. He's, he's hiding something. Okay. Um... Uh, first of all, I'm so sorry that he is dying right now. Um, part of what he's hiding is what's going on with him. I think he might be in somewhat of a state of of illusion himself like as I'm trying to channel his energy it's coming so slow um so like there's not like that like energy goes really fast for me and even as I try to say that they're like just going very slow so part of it might be what's really going on with his health what else is going on with his health and maybe how much time he has left. As far as the property goes, um, all I hear is legal, legal, legal. Find the legal documents. You're going to have to do, go to the, I hear city assessor and find the legal documents. And that's all. I'm getting on the property because whatever's going on, there's like, let me do something here. Let me do that. Whew. Okay. That's good. There's something. Here's what I'm going to say, sweetie. <clears throat> Whatever happens with this property, whoever ends up living it, they need to get it spiritually cleaned because there's something a pretty heavy energy with this property whether it's because of it doesn't matter why but there is um and what i'm gonna say is uh there is some you need to find the legal documents nothing else matters no matter how much anybody tries to hide anything just find the legal, get the legal documents and, and you will have, that's all you need to do. Okay, sweetie. That's it. Just get the legal documents. And then, I got the deed, but it's really weird. It's really weird because my brother told me all these years that it's his property. And, it's not. but when I look at the deed, it has all three of the kids on there. Yeah. It's not, it's oh. not his property. People can say what they want to say. But if you have the legal paperwork that has all the three names on it, 
then then you have your answer. That's your answer. Now, if he somehow or another found a way to put it just in his name, which I do not feel like he did, then that was an illegal transaction without a legal signature by the two of you or the other, yeah, you and the other person. That was an illegal transaction. Now he can say what he wants to say. I can say I'm a pink pineapple all day. It doesn't make me a pink pineapple. I don't get to run around. Nobody has to believe that. The truth of the matter is in the legal document. So take that legal document and make sure that legal document is honored. And I do hear the word trust. So if this legal document that you have, this deed is part of a trust, then the trust was never closed and you need to look into everything from the trust. Now, but if this is the last piece of it, is this legal document and there's no trust, maybe they're just saying trust the information, not really sure. Um, then you just go to someone like an attorney and you say, we have this document, we need to know where do we go from now, from, from this point forward to make sure everything goes the way it's supposed to go, especially since my brother is passing. And that's what I have for you, love. I hope this is very, very helpful. Yeah, I kind of think my brother is worse off than what he's telling me because um, he was on dialysis at the beginning of the year and he stopped taking it and he's just taking a pill because he didn't want to take the dialysis because it was making him sick. But I think he's worse off. Uh, I don't think he has long to live, but he acts like he's going to live a long time. But I think he's lying to me about it. I mean, I could be wrong. Yeah. Okay. So, and here's what I'm going to say. Um, I think I answered that at the beginning of the call and those are now two separate issues that you're trying to go into. So I did answer that at the beginning of your call. And um, I'm just going to say, take that legal paperwork and take it to whomever you need to take it to, to make sure that it is honored when he does pass. That's what I'm going to say to you. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm really grateful for your call. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. I'm going to go to Jessica. Hi, Tony. I have a big project job that needs to be completed ASAP. Will I make a lot of headway this month? and the following months to complete this. Yes, I hear yes. Is she gonna get this done? Okay, um, Jessica, you are gonna be very distracted and there is going to be something or someone that's trying to pull you away from this for fun, <laughs> not like intention. <clears throat> Someone who might be um, just wanting to be like, let's go do this. Let's go do that. Let's go have fun. And you might be like, yes, I want to have fun too. Um, you're going to have to be very dedicated to getting it done. You're going to have to be very, very dedicated. And you're going to have to, like, maybe if you want to go see the holiday, whatever, you are going to have to then take extra time, like wake up extra early in the morning and rededicate or reallocate those hours to getting it done. You are not going to have a lot of fluff off time during this time frame. You're really going to have to dedicate it. Whenever you have free time, just hit it is what I'm hearing. And you're going to be fine. It'll work out. Hi, Bo is fishing. Hey, Marla. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller, who is 415. 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Kate in New Mexico. Hey, Kate. How can I help you today? Hey, I had to call in because of Judy and Minnie. So I nearly fell on the floor <laughs> because I was at a memorial service this past weekend. 
for Judy. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. That is awesome. Thank you. And you actually know Minnie too? Minnie, if you can believe it, is my grandmother's nickname. Love it. Okay, so you guys who weren't here at the beginning of the show, those are two names from the beginning of the show. Okay, so the message is, um, the message for you is, they're actually singing a they're singing a song, not a song, but the the song is, don't stop with the bum not, don't stop till you get enough. Um, Nothing. Oh. Uh, you know the song, right? I can stop singing, please, for the love of Jesus. Uh, Michael Jackson. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Um, they're basically saying just keep going till you can't anymore in what you love, in what you love. Two. Keep do whatever you're doing that you love. Now, if you're just doing it because you're in a, a place where you're like, no, um, I don't know what to do, so I'm just going to keep doing this. No, 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 no. Find what you love and do what you love. Yeah. Okay. And uh, but you can keep doing what you're doing until you get to what you, <laughs> till you figure out what that. Okay. Man, I really want to do <laughs> this. I really want to do this. Okay. Um. So uh, yes, 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 yes. So that's what I'm getting for you, Kate. And also that there might be something part, something you do, you can do it from any place and it's not going to be a full on thing, but it's a second thing that you're going to be doing. Okay, lovey dove. Yeah, that's great. I need a, I've been thinking, I work from home for like four hours a day. That, so that's exactly Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kate, for calling in. And they say they love you. They say they love you. Oh, yeah, because Judy died very suddenly. So I'm so glad she's with my other family members. And that's great news. I love that. And yes, she is. Of course she is. Yes. Oh. Okay, love. Thank you. You are welcome. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye for now. Um, you guys, I'm hearing the song. It's it's such a, it's such a, I, I don't know. Somebody needs to comment what this song is for, but it says, I think I love you. So what am I so afraid of? Da, na, 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 na. I don't, I don't know all of the words of that song, but if that means something to somebody, please, please, please comment. I'm going to go to is Isma. Isma is the next question on YouTube. And it says, hi, Tony. Good day. Good day, Isma. Um, I think you're amazing. Thank you, Isma. I am not going to argue with you. I think you're right. I'm going to let you have that one. Um, thank you for doing these readings. I hope you can help me. I would like to know how does it look? How does it look, um, my job seeking financial situation? Thanks again. So Isma, you're looking for a job right now. You're, you're job seeking. Isma, can you please go in the comments and just quick type, uh, put what, what you're, what type, what you're looking for in a job? Tell me, tell me, what do you do, Isma? Because I'm getting something and I just want to be sure of it, my love. Um, so please, Isma, if you're still here, put that in the comments of um, what, what you do or what you're looking for for work. I think you're about to change careers, my love. I think, and that's why I need to know before I, I could give you the answer, but you might say to me, um, Okay, I'm an engineering director, long term, long path success. I'm an engineering director manager. Okay, thank you, Isma. Look at schools. Look at schools.
Um, I know that might not make sense. It might not be working directly for the school, but something with a school system. Look, go and look at private, public, and universities and, oh, yeah, universities and look at schools. That's what I'm getting for you, love. Look at schools because if you look at schools, there's going to be a position available for you. That's what I can tell you now. I, I am not getting a lot of details on that, my love. I hope that helps. Go in and look at, they will not let anything else come out of my mouth, Isma. <laughs> oh, Isma, if you were here, I would be hugging you. She says, wow, I do have an upcoming offer from a company that used to be for, that used to be for schools. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And if this isn't it, it means you're going to be doing something that has a direct component of schools if this isn't it, Isma. So thank you so much, Isma. Okay, we are at the 56 minute mark. And as you guys know, I, tr I, I try to stay within that 60 minute mark because this does air on TV and TV is 30 and 60 minutes. So we are almost to the end of the show, but don't go any place yet. I want to do some holiday clearings. We are all going to have a happy holidays. Let's clear that to a yes. They're going to be miraculous. Let's clear that to a yes. We're going to see the miracles that come in for us. I get a no. Let's clear that to a yes. And then what I'm getting, the, the last thing I want to do is we are having money come to us in large amounts. Let's clear that to a yes. We're getting business ideas that we can do our own business. So let's strengthen that for those who want it. Here's what I'm going to tell you. You guys, 2024 is an eight year. Eight is the number of money. Two, two, and four equal eight. The year itself is a year of money. I've been saying for a bit of time, if there is something you can do on your own, and I don't care, like if you do computer, you can do computer input. You can get a contract for a company to do computer input at home on your own. And before you know it, you will have enough agreements, contracts, works where you can hire other people to also work from home and do computer input. I don't care what you do. If you say, well, I'm just a receptionist. Nobody's just a just a anything. You can work from companies at home, taking calls at night, um, for companies af after our calls and start your own thing. And pretty soon you have enough, enough people wanting you to help that you will need another person. There are so many ways to start your own business. So just sit with it and say, how can I take my skills and turn them into my business? 2024 is going to be a breakout year for so many people. Um, okay, I love you all so very stinking much. I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. to do another show for you. And um, until then, just uh, make miracles. Sit down and write down 20 things that you do and how they could be uh, put into your own independent contract or own business, own thing, or all the places that it could be. Just you will be amazed because once you open that part of your brain, it just floods things in for you. Okay. I love you all so much. Thank you.